Hi everyone and welcome back to the Nay and Nails channel. I'm Steffi Fernandez and in today's video we'll be doing a three-in-one Easter special. Hope you enjoy this one. Let's get cracking guys. So for our first design guys, we're going to get a little bit crafty and we're going to make our own eggshell paint. Um, of course for Easter we want to have a little bit of eggshell paint, I think it's quite um, festive, can I say? Quite festive and um, everyone basically wants eggs on their nails, so I thought why not learn how to create it on this channel right here, right now. So I've got some backing paper, which I've just taken from using forms earlier on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with Sirius Black and put a couple of layers on top of that backing paper and just cure it for the full amount of time. Now, because this gel obviously cures uh, tacky, um, we cannot just remove it off the form like that. We have to uh, put a layer of top coat on top of it once it's cured so we can remove it off the um, backing paper. Right, so I've got Series Black over here cured. I'm going to go in with um, our gel top coat. No, I'm going to go in actually with the Mega Gloss because it's slightly thicker and it will just help me pick it off that form easier. I'm just gonna apply a nice layer on top of that serious black. And again, cure it for the full length of time. Right, so I've got this fully cured now. I'm gonna go ahead and peel it off the backing paper. As you can see, obviously, the other side has still got a tacky layer on. So what I'm gonna do is just take my lint-free wipe, get some gel residue wipe off solution, and give it a good wipe so it's not sticky or anything. Um, I'll also clean the paper while I'm at it because we're gonna use it in a second. Um, so I've got uh, this little strip over here that's uh, cured. I'm now going to go in and get my scissors and just start cutting up some uh, strips, like parallel strips, just like this. If you can see what I'm doing. And they can be in tons of different kind of thicknesses. So some thin lines, some really thick ones. It's totally up to you. Um, just do this and then I'm going to go in and just cut some pieces onto our backing paper just like this in different shapes, different directions, it doesn't matter really, um, you know, what shape you cut it, just lots of different tiny shapes. And I'm going to just drop it onto our backing paper so we get these gorgeous um, little shapes on here. Let me show you what I mean. So it just looks like this. So it's a lot of random shapes. I'm going to go ahead and just add a few more shapes on to that backing paper because I don't want it to, um, I don't want, you know, you can never have enough. So just in case I'm going to add a few more and then I'm going to go in and Chop some of the largest one. Um, actually, just remove them, actually. Yes, I'm going to just move them to one side because they're a little bit too big. And I'm going to go ahead and add. Uh, we've got two glitters that are called by the bullet. It's just black glitters. Uh, one is uh, very thin. I think it's like 0 0.2 millimeters. And one is the chunky version. So I'm going to go in and just... Uh, take a little bit on my um, uh, gel brush 
and just pick up some of that glitter and add it on to the backing paper as well as adding on some of the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and take that finer glitter and just add it on to the backing paper. So I've got all my shapes on here mixed up. I'm now going to go in and keep that to one side before I show you what to do with it, guys. And I'm going to use one of our almond shape tips. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and paint two layers of this gorgeous new color that has not been released yet. But yes, you'll get a chance to see it very, very soon. Um, it's called Spring Fever and it's a gorgeous kind of very, very faint yellow, like um, gorgeous, stunning yellow. Definitely gives me, you know, um, Easter vibes. So I'm going to go ahead and paint two layers, cure that and we'll go from there guys. So I've got the second layer curing at the moment and while that is curing I'm going to go in with our, um, you know, let's go for the gel gel top coat doesn't matter which top coat you use and i'm going to just sprinkle a couple of dots on that little mixture that we created earlier so i'm just going to go ahead and just dab some top coat on it and then take my uh, number six gel brush and just give it a mix and just mix it all together So I'm now going to go in for that nail that we prepped earlier and I'm going to take this little mixture that we made over here and I'm just going to pick it up with my uh, brush and I'm just going to literally brush it on. Looks quite eggy already. Now, while it's wet, you can also move the um, little particles that we've cut up earlier to uh, be placed maybe somewhere else if you're not happy with the placement of them. Um, then you can add some more. And then I'm going to give this a cure now. I'm really happy with the amount of uh, particles that are on here. So I don't think I want to go for the second coat. It's just right the way it is at the moment. So to finish off this design, I actually think that eggshell paint looks a lot nicer when it has a matte finish. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of our um, Urban Graffiti Ultra Matte Top Coat and slap on a nice thin layer and give it a cure and that's design number one done super super like happy about creating this one because sometimes it's just so nice to just get creative and make your own kind of paint or texture so it's kind of fun and you don't have to really buy actual paint it's something that you can make you know in your house or your studio or salon so I'm just going to brush it all over, cap the edges and pop this back into the lamp. So for our second design, I'm going to be creating a tortoise shell, but with a little bit of a twist, because uh, obviously we have to keep in with our um, Easter theme on here. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of our jelly polishes. It's called Starfruit. And I'm going to apply two thin layers on my nail and cure it and um, show you how I do my tortoise shell. So again, I'm going to go in, thin layer.
Right, so we've got our second layer cured. Uh, now, usually when I do tortoise shell, I do quite a bit of layering and it always takes so much time. So I've been um, trying to look for a different way to do it slightly faster. And I think I'll be using Bloomy Gel for this one today because um, you'll be here until tomorrow. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, I'm going to go in and just apply a nice layer on top of this nail. And of course, while it's wet, I'm going to go in with a different shade. I've got my palette on here. It's called Chestnut Wood. And I'm going to just dab it on my palette. And I'm going to go ahead and bring my favorite brush. And I'm going to grab some of that color and just paint a few random mahusive dots <laughs> on this nail okay so i'm gonna go ahead and um paint them so one here So as you can tell guys, the color is starting to spread. Can you see that Drew? It's got that gorgeous effect over here. So what I'm gonna do now is just gonna let that spread slightly more. And when I'm happy with how it looks, I'm gonna go in and give that a cure for 30 seconds. Right, so I've got this layer cured over here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I've put some serious black on my palette. I'm going to go in with my 3D brush, pick up some of that color and just um, just place it randomly over those dots earlier that we've created. So I'm going to put it here. And I'm gonna add some more over here and a little bit over here. So I've got my dots placed. I'm gonna go in with a lint-free wipe, uh, wipe off the excess, clean it on my dampened dish with the alcohol. And now that I've got a clean brush over here, I'm just gonna go in and blend that black so it looks slightly more natural. So I'm just gonna drag it out so it doesn't look as placed. So again, blend, 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 blend. And I'm gonna do that with all the black spots that we've just painted on. It's just a faster way to create this kind of design. Um, you could do it in layers, I usually do it in layers, but this one works just as well. So I'm blending, blending, blending. So once they're all nicely blended, I'm gonna give this a cure, and then I'm gonna go in with a top coat to seal in that section. Right, we've got this gorgeous layer painted. So this is what the nail looks like right now. Absolutely stunning. I'm gonna go in and seal this design in, probably use our gel top coat. It was out, so I might as well. And I'm just gonna apply a nice layer on top to seal that layer in. Can you guess what we are turning this gorgeous nail into, Drew? I think I can. Yeah? Go on then. Is it a hot cross bun? It is. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It's almost like I already knew. Yeah, well, almost. <laughs> yeah, it is. We're going to turn this nail into a hot cross bun, which funnily, I didn't even know was the Easter thing. Neither did I, to be honest. I did not know. So many people are like, why don't you do a hot cross bun? And I'm like, why? <laughs> now I know. Okay, so we've got this layer cured. Look how gorgeous it looks already, by the way. Tell me that's not a perfect way to create a tortoise shell in like less than two minutes. I mean, I always do it in layers and it takes forever, but I enjoy doing layers because it's art, of course. Um, I'm gonna go in with Shy Away to create that cross, which I think is a perfect color for this. So I'm just gonna dab in some on my palette, as usual. And I'm gonna go in with, guess what brush? Triple zero three brush. <laughs> yes, as usual. I'm gonna go in with my favorite brush, pick up some of that product, and then just paint that, uh, a couple of lines across the nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and then pull a line through. All right, so we've got that. You can see that the line is slightly wonky on here, but that's okay. I'll fill it in. Not all hot cross buns are perfect. Yeah, well, this one should be. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the line here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of lines on the side. And I'm going to do a line on the other side, just here. So I'm just checking my little... Uh, my little bun over here, just making sure I'm getting all those lines um, neat, sorry. And then I'm going to give it a cure. I'm going to just thicken up some of the lines. Because I feel it needs a little bit more oomph to it kind of thing. Okay, happy with how this looks. I'm gonna pop this into the lamp and then add something for our final um, stage. Okay, so we've got our lines cured. I just wanna add a little bit of texture and stuff. So I think, you know, for this one, um, definitely I think the lines should be matte and the bun bit should be quite shiny. Um, it kind of looks like that when you look at a bun, right? Yeah, the yeah. The brown bit is super shiny, and then the uh, lighter bit is quite um, matte. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up some of that um, matte top coat and just uh, go over the lines that I painted earlier. And I'm going to pop this back into the lamp and our design, well, design number two will be ready. And you can do that all, all nails. It's so cute. So I'm going to go and grab this nail over here. And this is the end result, guys. Look how cute that is. Absolutely stunning. You've got like a little, well, a spin on a hot cross button. Super cute, and you can do it on all nails. Love it. Looks good enough to eat. Mm. <laughs> it does. So I'm going to start off my third design, which is my favorite out of all three. I'm going to go and do a 
Cream egg. Cream egg. I'm so excited about this one. I love painting, guys. So, of course, this one will be my favorite. Um, for this design, we're going to be using um, foils, which are here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be using um, a purple one because the cream egg is kind of wrapped in a purplish kind of... Uh, um, Foil. Is yeah, it foil? foil. Yeah, this foil, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just cut myself a little piece on here. Uh, let me take my scissors. I should have done it earlier, but I'm not as organized, guys. I really am not. Uh, so I've got a little piece here of our purple foil. I've buffed the surface of the nail as usual. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and apply a layer of um, foil glue on our nail over here. Let me put the scissors aside a little bit, make myself some space. I'm going to go in and apply a nice thin layer on this nail. Now, I'm going to apply it all over the nail, uh, but I'm not going to be sticking that foil on all of the nail because I'll be painting um, on the lower section of the nail. So I'm going to pop this into the lamp. Right, so we've got this layer of foil glue cured. I'm going to go ahead and place that gorgeous foil, which I've already wiped underneath with gel residue wipe off solution. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just place it on the top half of the nail. So I'm going to just place it on here and stick it onto the nail and let it transfer and do its thing. So if I had my silicone tool over here, um, I would use it, but I don't. So I'm going to be using my fingers as tools today. Well, so I'm literally just pressing it, pressing, pressing, pressing making sure it all transfers nice and even, as much as I can anyway. And I'm gonna be removing that foil. Whoop! And we've got our purple foil ready. Now, I'm just gonna go in and press on some bits that it didn't transfer as well, but it doesn't really matter. I kind of like that look because it's like a foil that we are doing, right? So it's kind of uh, scrunched up together. So it's okay if it doesn't look that perfect. Yeah, it adds to that look. So I'm just filling in those little missing gaps, um, but I'm not gonna fill it in perfectly. So I've done that. And I'm going to carry on our design uh, without, you know, doing anything else yet. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead with my um, 3D brush, okay? And I'm going to pick up some white color. I'm going to be picking up some of the snow white paint that I've got here. And I'm just going to go ahead and start mapping out... Um, a little bit of a like splash it looks like a splash well on the egg it does so I've got a curved line um, and then it's got a couple of um, upside down drops if it makes sense so I've got a drop here and another one which is very close to it. And that's what it looks like for now. It kind of looks like someone is doing this. <laughs> Doesn't it? Mm, yeah, a little <laughs> so bit. So I've painted that on and I'm going to go ahead and fill that in and 
give it a cure. Now, the reason I'm filling it in is because if I go ahead and paint that blob in yellow, because we've got purple background and clear background, the yellow won't look as even. So I need to um, map out a section for this white, uh, for the yellow to go on to, sorry. So that's why I'm painting this section white. So we're gonna cover that with yellow shortly. Yeah, that's right. Bit of a primer for you guys. So, so I've got this gorgeous little blob filled in with white. Um, let me just fix up some of this over here. Right, so I've got this done. I'm going to go in and give it a, a cure for the full length of time and I'm gonna prep some sherbet lemon on my palette. Right, so we've got our um, white uh, section cured off. I'm gonna go ahead and just take some of that yellow and I'm gonna go in and paint on top of the white just so it looks slightly, it'll pop up more anyway when you put the yellow on top of the white. So it look really nice. I'm gonna fill in that section and mimic that white blob from earlier on. Do you like cream eggs? Oh yeah. Who doesn't? I know. They're actually quite nice. But too much can make you a bit sickly, can't they? Oh like? yeah, yeah. Imagine if they did an Easter-sized mm. cream egg. All that gooiness inside. Yeah, oh. no. I'd get diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm filling that in. Right, we've got it all painted. Back into the lamp for the full length of time. 30 seconds. If I can get it off my hand. Right, so we've got this um, yellow cured. Now I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go in with a, a new color again, which is called lavish. It's a gorgeous pearly purple, which I think will be really, really um, perfect for our cream eggs. I'm gonna go in and just dab again some of that product onto my palette. Look at that color, Drew. That's Easter egg, isn't it? That's our cream egg, 100%. I'm gonna dab in some of that goodness onto my palette. Give it a good mix just before, cause pearlies tend to separate, so I want the pigment to be even all over. So I'm gonna be doing some of the writing of the cream egg logo onto that blob. Uh, now, uh, a little thing that I'm doing as well is I look at the picture that I'm copying from or whatnot, and I need to understand that obviously um, the word cream is quite big, so it's not going to fit in all in here. However, uh, a lot of people tend to like start painting the letters from here. You have to think about um, the blob and how it ends. So I'm going to start with E because I know that if I work backwards, whatever I miss from the front, it doesn't really matter. But if you start typing, uh, sorry, typing, painting cream from here, and then your letters are not in the correct size, then you might go over that blob or not have enough room to fit in the rest of the letters. Does it make sense? Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to start working off backwards, okay? So I'm going to pick up some of that gorgeous pearly purple on my brush and I'm gonna go in and start painting that E. So luckily this is quite a thick E and this kind of writing is slightly easier than the normal kind of uh, fonts that you get. So I'm just gonna mark up that E.
I'm just marking up how it's going to look like. Of course, we're going to thicken those lines out shortly. Uh, and we've got the M. So I'm going to map out what that M looks like. So we've got that and then we've got perhaps we can fit in a little bit of the other E just on the corner here. Right, so I'm going to go back to the first E and just thicken up that letter. I've got my E ready. I'm going to go in and start doing the M. And then we've got another line here. got the M, the E, and then, I won't lie guys, from the first time I did this other E, I was like, oh, what have I done? So I'm going to go in with my 3D brush and then just take off that section over here because I don't like it. Um, I'm going to take it off. It's a little bit too thick for my liking. Right, I'm going to go in and just finish up that other E. So we've got the E M E. Right. I'm just checking if I like what it looks like before I give it a cure. And just neatening up those lines. And I'm going to pop this into the lamp for about 15 seconds. Right, I've got this flesh cured now. I'm going to go in with, um, what am I going to go in with? Oh yeah, I was thinking in my head about the next stage. Um, I've got my um, yellow sherbet lemon from early. I'm going to take some of that white and then just mix it in to that yellow on here. Now, I'm not trying to create a... Um, lighter yellow. I'm just trying to make this yellow slightly more opaque so I won't have to do this stage twice i.e. paint whatever I was going to paint white and then go on top of it with yellow so um, a good hack to know is actually mix a little bit of white into any gel polish that you want to make slightly more opaque and it will give it that pigmentation that you're looking for to cover on top of dark colors. So I've mixed in that um, yellow over here and I'm just going to add in some of that Cadbury logo on the side on top of that little blob. So again I'm going to start with the Y and work my way backwards. So I'm going to go in and do the Y I'm going to go in for the R. And again, you're not going to be able to fit all of it in, so don't stress. And then I'm going to go in 
for the U, which I probably won't be able to fit in, but I'm just going to map it out on here. So we've got this on here. I'm just going to neaten up those lines slightly. So I've got that on here and now I'm going to go in and again flash cure this just for a few moments and um, we'll continue our design. Right, so we've got it flash cured. Um, by the way, just a quick one guys, I've noticed I've done it the other day so I thought I might as well let you know. Uh, don't paint with too much paint. If you flash cure your design in between, don't paint a very thick layer because then it will start bubbling. Do you know what I mean? So you'll have bubbles on top of the, on the surface of the nail and you don't want to have that. So, cause it's not going to cure. Um, you'll just cure the top bit of the paint that you apply on if it's a very thick layer. So just try to do it in thin layers and then you can flash cure. Um, right. So we've got that on. I'm now going to go in and pick up some of that snow white. And I'm just going to outline the cream section. So I'm just going to outline that. Because it's actually, it's got white outlines. So I'm doing it in sections. So I've outlined the cream bit. I'm going to pop this back into the lamp and I'll prep some red on our palette. Right, so I've cured this nail for now. Um, I'm giving my uh, brush a good wipe and I'm going to go in with some red that I've dabbed on this palette earlier, just firecracker, um, which is my favorite red, of course. And I'm going to go in and pick up some of that product and all I'm going to do is start outlining that blob that we created earlier on. Really, really nice thin line, no need for, um, you know, pressure on this one. So literally just paint a nice thin line and just follow that blob around. And you want to be painting that on the purple section instead of the yellow because otherwise it will look uh, a lot brighter. So I'm just going to go in and paint some red on here. I'm going to make the blob slightly smaller just so I can fit some of that red into this section because it does make a difference. I'm gonna fill in some red on here. And then I'm going to give this a cure for um, 15 seconds again. Right, I've got it cured. I'm gonna go in, pick up some of that um, snow white. I'm going to just do a nice thick line over here because the cream as egg does have like a nice thick line on the side of the blob. You can't really see it but I know it's there so it will bug me if I don't do it. Uh, I'm going to go and pick up some of that yellow that we've mixed up earlier, the one that we wanted to make slightly more opaque 
and I'm going to just paint a blob on here. Because Cadbury eggs have to seem seem to have a blob on there. It's like a little dot. I might have made it slightly bigger, but it's okay. So I've got the blob on here and um, I'm going to give this a cure, uh, probably for the full length of time now, uh, because I'm going to top coat it before I add some more goodness into it. Right, so we've got our cream egg cured over here. I'm going to go in with um, our top coat, which is here somewhere. Well, I'll just, yeah, it's here. I'll use our gel top coat. I'm going to go in and slap on a nice thick layer all over that nail just to seal in this whole design. And I'm going to give it a cure for 30 seconds. By the way, I did forget to outline that little dot. So I've done that off camera really quick for you guys. So you won't have to watch me. <laughs> Just saved you a minute of your life. Uh, I'm going to pop this back into the lamp. And then I'll add some chocolate. Right, so we've got our cream egg. Look how cute. We've got our cream egg on here, which is nearly ready. But no cream egg is ready unless it's got some chocolate on it. So we're going to be using, again, a new shade called Juniper. Um, am I pronouncing it right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Juniper. I didn't know that it's, is it, a, is it a type of a tree apparently? Yeah, yeah. Didn't know that. You learn something new every day, don't you? Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to dab some of that gorgeous, go I mean, this is honestly the nicest dark brown you've ever seen. Um, so I'm going to dab some of that onto my palette. And I'm going to be quite generous uh, when I pick up that color on my uh, detailing brush. I'm literally going to pick up a load of it and just go in on top of that nail and just create this drop on here, just like this. Don't that look good though? <laughs> I really want to eat it right now. So I've got a drop of chocolate over here. I'm going to add another drop here and maybe a tiny one on this side just here. And then I'm going to go ahead and then just join those drops at the top. So it doesn't just look uh, like it's randomly placed. So I've got the chocolate on top. I'm going to add some on here. And a little bit on here. What do you think, Drew? Should we add another drop on this area or should we leave it at this? I think it looks good with the three. I think it just looks good with the three as well. I never know when to stop, guys. <laughs> I genuinely don't. I wish I did. They say less is more. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cure it like this. And I like the fact that it's actually kind of bulky because I'm trying to create that chocolatey kind of uh, feel to it. So I'm going to go ahead and cure this. And then I'm just going to add a top coat on top of this. And this is design number three done. So I've cured this gorgeous cream egg on here. I'm going to go in with our thickest top coat because I do want it to be raised. So I'm going to go ahead and dab some of the uh, top coat onto my palette. This is the Mega Gloss uh, No Wipe Top Coat. And I'm just going to do the same thing, basically repeat the last step, you know, go in with my uh, brush, pick up a load of that top coat onto it 
and just basically paint that on top of our chocolate drops. The beautiful thing about this top coat that it does not move, it's super thick. So even if you're a slow painter, oops, I picked up the wrong thing. There we go, top coat. If you are a slow painter, then you have time to, you know, play about with the product before you cure it. Oh, there we go. So I've put them on top. I've covered everything. And I'm going to pop this into the lamp for the last time, I promise. And this is design number three done. Obviously my favorite design, as I said earlier on, love this one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you the rest of the looks that I created for today. So I've done a hot crust bun with tortoise shell and I've also created our first look eggshell paint. Um, you know, just something a bit Eastery, super cute. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next. Uh, I hope you enjoy your break with your family and friends and you've got some nice plans for the weekend. I know I don't, but hopefully it will change by next week. So uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and all of that. And I will see you guys on the next one. Um, happy Easter everyone.